Hello guys, it's Kenny here. Um, now obviously I can't be at the festival this year um, as we've not been able to hold it, um, Durham County Council. Um, however, I've done a brilliant thing in terms of putting on some online cookery videos. Um, and um, although we can't be at Bishop Auckland or Siam Festival this year, um, I'm sure in 2021 we'll be there with bells on get to see each other again, eat great food, drink some good wine. But for now, we've got some great cookery videos for you and you'll be joining myself um, and a few other fellow, fellow uh, chefs um, and traders and producers to still get involved with an online festival, which is fantastic. Um, but today I've got a lovely luxury recipe for you. Now, Christmas is coming up. Um, obviously Christmas Day, Turkey, you might have beef, you might have game or something like that, or a bit more exotic. Um, but actually, Christmas Eve, it's a bit of a tradition in our house to have something completely different. Something still luxurious, warming, um, and we always have uh, a really luxury fish pie, funny enough. Um, so I thought I'd provide you a really nice fish pie recipe. You don't have to eat it Christmas Eve. You could eat it Christmas Day. You could eat it any time you want, because it's delicious um, and pretty straightforward as well. So um, let's get cracking, really, really simple. So what I've got here is I've got um, some whole milk that I've just heated up nice and hot. Um, and in the whole milk we have got, um, we've got some bay leaves, um, and, well, two bay leaves and some onions. So I'm just going to get that right up to the boil again. Um, just some bay leaves and some onions, some white onion in there. And as you can see, it's steaming, lovely bit of steam on there. And you're getting the lovely, wonderful aroma um, of the bay leaf as well, which is beautiful. And then once that just goes to the boil, we're just gonna put in our fish. So the recipe is available online. So you'll be able to go on um, and find the recipes online. Um, but here we've got, and, and also, you know, don't get too wrapped up in, in the recipe. So you can use different fish. Here I've got some wonderful cod, some smoked haddock, and some king prawns, some lovely king prawns as well. Um, we've just deveined the prawns. Now in the recipe I've said use the whole fillet, peel off the skin, you can do that, that adds more flavour. I've just got some lovely chunks of fish here, still you're going to get a beautiful flavour uh, from that. And all I'm going to do, just as that comes to the boil, I'm just going to take my fish, so my beautiful chunks of cod, um, and I'm just going to pop it in there, and we're just going to lightly poach them, okay? Just going to lightly poach them. And Now fish is a, is a protein, so it just literally needs setting. Um, you're not really sort of cooking it, you're just you're just setting the protein. So they can all go in there, make sure it's covered in that beautiful uh, milk with the bay and the, um, and the onion as well. And just literally uh, get that on a nice high heat just for a couple of minutes. And then once it starts to bubble, you're gonna take it off. You're just gonna take it off the heat and you're gonna let it sit there. And whilst it's sitting there, all of those wonderful fishy flavors are gonna infuse with that milk. And we're then gonna use that milk to make our sauce for the fish pie. So we're just gonna give that a minute. Basically you need to give it about 10 minutes and then that will be ready for you to then use to make your roux, um, which I'll show you how to do. So give us 10 minutes and we'll be back. Hi, welcome back. So basically we've left those, that beautiful fish just to sit in that hot milk and it's just infused and this, you can smell, smell the, uh, aroma there, you've got the smoked haddock in there um, and some cod. Now, if you're using smoked haddock, try and get the undyed salt. It's just a little bit more natural, a bit of a nicer product. But yeah, that's gonna be a wonderful stock to make our roux. Now, a simple roux, um, I generally do it by eye. You've got all the, um, the measurements and the ingredients online, but you're just gonna need some butter. You're gonna need some flour. And of course, you're gonna need some milk. Now, we're gonna use this infused milk, which is absolutely wonderful. So, to make your roux, just go in with the butter. Start to melt that off. That will just take a few minutes. Whilst that's melting, I'm uh, just gonna talk about a few of the other ingredients, okay? So we've got the butter melting ready for the view, uh, roux and uh, plain flour. Also, what I've got here is I've got some lovely chopped herbs. So this is a bit of dill and parsley. Works wonderfully. I've got my hack, so I've got a secret little hack here, tartar sauce. Now, this has got everything you need in it. Um, you've got your cornichons, capers, a little bit of acid, that creamy mayo. And actually what that's gonna do is once we've made our roux, we're gonna pop that in there, some herbs, a little bit of seasoning. And then my other hack is a nice little bit of lemon zest as well. So we'll get onto that in just a second. 
So here we go, we're just melting that butter. And once that butter's uh, melted, we can just go in with our flour, okay? A couple of tablespoons of flour is all you need. You don't want too much. Remember, we're just using this to thicken the sauce, you know, um, and thicken that lovely infusion of the milk there uh, as well. Okay, so that's melting. The other thing just to talk about is our mash. Now, look, guys, I didn't want to stand here and show you how to make mashed potatoes, okay? But what I've done is I've just made some mash and I've gone a bit chefy, easy to do, make some nice creamy mash, use a nice fluffy potato, and I've just put some uh, a little bit of spring onion, so it's like a, like champ, really, we call it. My mum's from Ireland, we used to, to champ, it's a very Irish thing. Um, and then a, a, few, a, few, um, a few chives, just to sort of pimp that mash up. And then all we're gonna do, once we've got our base, we're gonna cut this, and however you wanna do it, we're just gonna top the pie with the mash. And I just think it's a nice, clean, easy way of doing it. You don't have to, you don't have to. You can just spoon it on, get a fork, whatever you wanna do. So, butter's melted, so you see that's melted in there. And we're just gonna go in a couple of tablespoons of flour there, okay? And then, we're just gonna cook that out, all right? Because if you don't cook out the flour, you're left with uh, that sort of raw flour taste, which you don't want. And this really, what we're making is known as a blonde brew, okay? Um, if you wanted a more a dark brew, you'd, you'd bring that to like a burner's egg. You'd almost sort of burn and caramelize the butter. But for now, we're just gonna make a nice, light, blonde brew. Okay, butter, flour. Touch of seasoning. Excellent. Make it a stir. And you can see that's already starting to cook out. Okay, now we've got our wonderful milk. So we're just gonna put a little bit of that milk in here. And what will happen is, when you put that milk in, is it will thicken up the roux, you see? You see that? You see that? And, and don't worry about that stage. It'll almost become like, I split. Don't worry about that. You're just gonna keep adding the milk. A little bit more. And it's all gonna come together until you've got a wonderful creamy sauce. Lower the heat, control your temperature. Not too hot. Can easily burn or catch. And now already, we're starting to look, looks starting to look like something that resembles a creamy white sauce, okay? More of that wonderful infused milk. With the flavors of the onion and the bay and the fish and the smoked haddock going in there just gonna keep and look, now we're really getting something that looks like a beautiful base sauce okay and then keep it going you want to try not to waste a lot of that milk at all and uh, this pit here again it's just important just take your time stir add a little more stir and add a little more and you'll know when it's a nice sort of stick to the back of the spoon thickness you'll know you've got a nice sauce there for your pie okay lovely perfect and what happens if with any lumps they will go you just stir it keep stirring and those lumps will disappear okay now we're really getting something that resembles a smooth and you know what this is the hardest bit if, if any of it's hard this is the hardest bit just getting that white sauce that beautiful thick rich white sauce um, to come together but using that milk really makes a difference okay great i'm gonna have a little try there won't be a lot going on with it now but yeah just that fish and the bay and the onion it's just lovely already so, uh, but we obviously, we don't want to stop there. We want to take this fish pie to another level, okay? So it's nice and creamy. Excellent, okay. That's looking great, that is great. Now, as I said to you, we're gonna go in uh, with my little hack here, some decent tartar sauce. Now, shop bought perfect. Um, obviously, I've got the restaurant here over in um, over in Worthing, so we, we knock up our own tartar sauce and we always like it chunky. Lots of cornichons, lots of dill, um, and, and um, lots of the capers as well. Capers are wonderful. And that has brought it to life, you see. So a nice, about a tablespoon, a little bit more, why not? It's just gonna add so much flavor. Then some nice chopped herbs, 
in there. Good couple of pinches of chopped herbs. Excellent. You can sort of take it off the heat now. You don't have to keep it, keep it bubbling. You can take that off the heat, give it a stir, and the smell is absolutely excellent. Seasoned salt, good bit of cracked black pepper, fish and pepper, match made in heaven. Good bit of seasoning there as well. Okay, excellent. And then, and that's looking absolutely wonderful. That another little taste. Mm. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so and now, bear me. I'm going to grab my grater. Lemon, give it a good zest of that fresh lemon. Now fish, we all know fish and lemon, matches made in heaven, just brings it all to life. You know, I'm gonna go quite heavy with that, over half a lemon. It really makes a difference, um, really makes a difference. Okay, look at that. And now you've got this beautiful, rich, herby, lemony sauce and do you know what that is the base of your fish pie okay so now we've got our, our rich decadent creamy herby sauce we've got our fish that's just poached still sitting in some of that liquor we've got our mash the prawns some beautiful king prawns here they're just going to sit on top because they only take a few minutes to cook i've preheated the oven at 180 between 180 to 200 tops for uh i preheated that um, and uh, you want this is going to go in there for sort of 15, 15 or so minutes, or until the top's just nice and, and golden, you know, um, as simple as that. You can really do that by, we'll give it sort of 15, 20 minutes and then, and then check it. Okay, let's build the pie. I'm going to cut this like so, so that's all ready. And then what I've got, nice, this is something my mum gave me many years ago real nice enamel pie. It's done some work, this has. I mean, this really has done some work. It's had some pies in it. It's had all sorts of pies. I think the last pie that was in it was a chicken tikka masala pie. So it just goes to show it goes all around the world. Um, so here we go, let's build this. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna layer the bottom with some of that beautiful sauce all over the bottom. Now this will serve about a, a good family of four, four people easily, layer that in and then and it goes out as this wonderful fish. Now, if your bay leaf goes in there, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're just gonna go a nice bit of that fish, okay? Excellent. And then we're gonna go more, more sauce all over. Look at that. All over there. And you're just layering it all up, straight in. And then we're going to go more of the fish, big chunks, flaky fish, salmon works wonderfully, haddock, hake, pollock, you know, just nice big firm meaty chunks of that fish dotted all around. Don't waste a bit and that's done, so we'll put that in there. Okay, and then we're just going to finish, finish again. <clears throat> more of that delicious sauce, the last of the sauce. And there we have it. And what that tartar sauce has done, that little hack there, is just added that acid, you know, it's just added that salt, that seasoning, that acid, and it's just something you can get off the shelves in the shop and you don't have to worry about it. It, it makes it creamier, shinier, everything. Beautiful. Finish it with a little bit more herbs if you like, another bit of dill. Um, and then we've got our wonderful king prawns. So I'm just going to scatter those, and this is what makes it luxury. You know, if you really want to take it to the next level, maybe a few scallops in there, um, just to set wonderfully would work really, really well. But I've got these beautiful king prawns, just going to go in the top and hit it with a touch of black pepper. And then I'm just going to take my mash. Okay, get a little bit of chef with it. So, and we're just gonna go a nice 
mashy base on there. Hopefully I've just about got enough. And what I do is, I, on my fish to mash ratio is very much fish. I just want the mash to bring it together. So we've got the last of the mash there. Perfect. And that's just because it's gonna act as a nice crispy top, you know? I don't like it in these pies, it's all mash, it's all potato, where's the fish? Give me the fish. So um, there we have it, and I'm just gonna finish it with a little bit of that lemon. There we have it. So there it is. So I'm just gonna pop that wonderful luxury fish pie in the oven, 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll have a look in a second. We'll get it out, see how it looks, and get tucked in. Let's go. So the pie has been in the oven now about 20 minutes um, at just over 180, and uh, it's looking great, really bubbling, trying not to Try not to burn yourself like me, um, and then bring it over here and just look at that bubbling. You've got all those wonderful layers of fish in there and prawns. And uh, for me, it's just a lovely thing to put down in front of the family. Nice lump of crusty bread, um, glass of chilled white wine, maybe. And look, it's going to be a lot of turkey and all sorts of other bits over Christmas, so it's just nice to do something different with a fish pie. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that, you know, have a look at the website. Thank you to Durham County Council for making this happen. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, and I'm sure we'll all be there with bells on in 2021 at Seaham and, uh, and uh, Bishop Auckland, which was brilliant and uh, so sad that we've missed it this year. But we will be back um, to see all the very best producers and suppliers uh, throughout Durham County uh, Council and the County of Durham. Um, so again, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's great to be part of it and I should hopefully see you all there in 2021. And Merry Christmas, everyone.